The last form of communication that we'll be reviewing is the discussion forum. As expected from navigating to the other communication tools, you can get to the discussion forum from the communication drop-down menu. There are many, many, many things to learn about the discussion forum as faculty and TA. The first and most important thing faculty and TA should remember to do after setting up any forum is to look at your view subscribe options in the discussion forum tool. It is important that you stay on top of the communications with students. One of the most common words or topics that might appear in any course evaluation is timeliness. Timeliness to communicate. Feedback would probably be the other most important thing mentioned in course evals. One of the ways that Course Plus helps you stay on top of the communications is by allowing you to subscribe to the discussion forums. You can opt to send individual emails as soon as posts are added, but that can become overwhelming. So instead, you may want to select the option to send a digest email. In other words, a notification of the collection of posts that are added to the categories and topics only one time per day. You can select the individual categories that you want to be subscribed to on this page. If you don't want to subscribe to a whole category, you also have the option to subscribe to individual topics from a subscribe link on the page when you've navigated to a single topic. Some discussion forums are private to groups. Faculty and TAs can actually see those communications, but they might not want to be bothered with the notifications. These forums are usually for groups to discuss things amongst each other unless faculty have an assignment that is supposed to be completed in the discussion forum. So faculty may want to subscribe to private discussion forums only if they're part of an assignment. Again, just make sure you've subscribed to at least your general discussion forums. Select View Subscribe Options. Select whether you want individual notification emails or daily digests. Make sure you click Update after you've selected your notification option, and then decide which, if any, categories you want to be subscribed to. Going back to the discussion forum home, you will notice there are some icons that appear next to categories that have already been set up, as well as next to topics within those categories. The Comment Bubble FAC icon appears in topics where a faculty or TA has posted or responded. There are category setup options to make the category option PBV post before viewing. That means students can't see anything inside the category until they've actually created a topic in that category. The PBV option can also be set at the topic level, so a student must post inside a topic before seeing the other posts under that same topic. PBV is a good option for an assignment where you want to require that students post an original response to a prompt or other original thought. Again, PBV stands for Post Before Viewing. FAC stands for the faculty has posted. And you can see as the cursor hovers over any of these other icons, the tooltip text should describe what each icon means. Over here on the left, the icon that looks like a sticky note with a thumbtack indicates a topic has been pinned or stuck to the top of this category. This and other topic options can be determined when the topic is first created or later by selecting topic options when viewing a topic. But we're not in setup right now, we're just previewing the discussion form categories and topics that have already been set up. Another icon you will see is this open eyeball icon. This means the category is visible to students, though it probably was restricted at one time. There would have been a closed eyeball when it was hidden. This particular category became visible to students on a certain date determined in its setup. This icon, the word topic, with the universal no or cancel slash through it, means that the students cannot create new topics in the category. Students can only respond to the topics that faculty and TAs create. Let's walk through a quick preview of setting up a new topic in this particular discussion forum. Here's my topic title. Since the students can't create a new topic here, I'm going to make sure that I give a prompt that I want students to respond to. If I wanted, I could attach a file or anything else to this original post before I finalize creating the topic. Now students are going to be able to post in this category by responding to this topic. Notice I did not select Post Before Viewing because I want students to be able to see my prompt. Otherwise, if you wanted to make the new topic PBV, it probably would be wise to put the prompt as the category's description or even separately outside of the discussion forum. Your instructional designer can help you decide the best method for your particular goals.
Returning to the discussion forum home, another icon that depicts a pencil writing in a book indicates this discussion forum's category has been added to the Course Plus gradebook. A category is added to the gradebook from the gradebook setup itself. In a bit, we will briefly go over how posts in a category can be graded directly in the discussion forum. The last icon you will want to make note of is the profile silhouette of a person, which indicates the category is private to specific course groups. This specific discussion forum, as indicated in the tooltip text, has been set up only for the students in Practice Group 3 to read and post. Now let's look at posts in one of the categories that are linked to the Course Plus gradebook. For these, from any of the posts or responses to post inside any topic in this category, the faculty can give a grade with an optional comment directly on the post. This grade and comment will be synchronized with the gradebook entry. In addition, it will appear for every post made by this student under the category. For the Luke Cage example, when the faculty enters a grade and, optionally, a comment alongside any of his posts in a topic inside the category, the same comment and grade will appear in the faculty's view for any of Luke's posts under any topic in this category. Again, students are graded in the discussion forums by category, not topics, and not individual posts, and a grade made on any post in a category will be reflected on all the posts in that category made by the same student. Discussion forum categories are created and modified through the admin view of the discussion forum communication tool. This is where category groups and categories are set up with their options. Posts before viewing, permissions, which could be either private to groups or everyone can read and post, the hide until dates, etc. If you want to add a category, select New Category. Optionally, give it a description that will appear under the category name in the discussion forum home. If you want to put your new forum category under an existing category group, you could do that here. You can also now decide if it will be PBV, Post Before Viewing. If so, select The students cannot view topics in this category until they add a topic. That is equivalent to Post Before Viewing. If you want to link the category to any lecture or activity pages, you also have that option here. Linked pages will only show the categories if they have been edited to include the discussion forum section in the page layout. Lastly, click Create Category. Your new category will now appear accompanied by any appropriate icons in the discussion forum admin view. There is a lot to learn about in the discussion forums. However, I want to emphasize again that the most important thing is that you go ahead and get yourself subscribed to the categories where you know students will be active. And if you want to set up new discussion forum categories or modify existing categories, you have to go into the admin view of the discussion forum. Another reminder is that the discussion forum home is a little different than my discussion forum. The Discussion Forum Home gives an overview of all the category titles with their descriptions and the topics, including all the icons which indicate any special settings. But the My Discussion Forum page provides this list without icons in its navigation pane, along with the previews of the actual posts within these topics. You add topics in posts within My Discussion Forum. This is also where you can see what posts are new since your last visit.